hello guys and welcome to the second part of the SQL full course for beginners if you haven't already watched the first part you can click on the link above or you can find the link in the description so in this video we are going to continue with some DDL commands which stands for data definition language and we are going to insert delete and update some rows in our tables but before we proceed with that we have first to delete some some of our databases okay so we write drop database db1 okay we don't need this in this tutorial okay and we do the same thing for the db2 we can also delete the db test okay so like that we have only what we need okay so we have the students info with the three tables what we are going to do is that we are going to insert data into our students table okay which has four columns we have the student id first name last name and date of birth and we are going to do that in three different ways so we can add single rows without column names okay as we are going to do so we write insert into and we write the table name so students we select our values so here we didn't add the column names we write values and all the values that we are going to write between the parentheses have to be in the same order which is defined for the columns so we have student id first name last name and date of birth for student id we write one first name we write for example jack and for last name we can write Lee for example okay the fourth field is the date and as we have said for the date it has the year okay then we have the month and then we have the day okay so we have written our example in here and the query needs to end with a semicolon okay so we execute that as we have said in order to select or to view the data inside the table we write select asterisk which means all new line from and we write the table which is students okay we execute that and we see our output so we have added the student name student id which is one first name which is jack last name which is lee and date of birth which is an example okay so we can add also values or rows into our table using the names of the columns so we write insert into so our table which is students and we can add the names of the columns so we have student id first name okay last name and we do have the date of birth okay new line and we add values okay values for example we add the id it is two the first name for example it is john right the last name we can add for example la and date of birth for example we can add date okay So if you execute that and we select okay so we have an error which can be a student ID without the S and if we execute that one more time so insert into our table the given values and select all from students so we have our new row okay now we can add multiple values using the same thing so multiple values using the column names in our table or without the column names so to do that we can write insert into so we can add students so for the values i have directly some rows that i have written before so i add directly these rows okay to save time and if we execute that so same thing we select all from students and here we have our table so we have the student ids we have the first name the last name and the date of birth 
okay as you can see here it is recommended to use the dash for the date since it is used in the syntax in the defined syntax of my sql but if we write directly the slash it will be converted to a dash okay so it is preferred to write your dates in this format now if we want to delete a row from our table we can use the following syntax so we have delete from we write our table students and we select where so this is the condition where student id for example student id equals to one okay and if we execute that so if we copy paste this one and if we execute that we have the first row it is deleted okay so we write delete from students where student id is equal to one now if we get an error or this statement or this query cannot be executed you can go to edit and go to preferences you go to sql editor and you remove the check from the safe updates okay rejects updates and deletes with no restrictions okay so if it is checked you can uncheck that and it will be okay for you to apply the updates and delete rows from your tables and you click okay of course right we can also delete another row for example delete from so we write students and where for example date of birth equals to okay and if we execute that select all from students okay so like that we use the delete statement from students and you write here your condition so as you can conclude here select is used to query or to retrieve data from a table so using this syntax select this is where you write your columns and from your table the same thing for the where so where is used to put a condition in order to, e to execute a given statement for example you write delete so we want to delete a row from the students table where the date of birth is equal to this date okay so now if you want for example to update a row or a given value in some columns so we write the following we write update you write the name of the table so students and you set for example we change the last name of uh, for example we change la to for example another value so write last name equals to for example tick okay where so we add the condition student id equals to two right student id equals two semicolon and if we execute that okay so we select all from the students and we see the na last name has changed where the student id equals to two we can do the same thing okay we can update two different columns at the same time okay in a given row we write same thing update students set for example first name equals to for example Chris and also we change the date of birth to another date equals to for example 1998 for example 11 and 1 where student id equals to 5 equals to 5 if we execute that and we select all from students so we get the first name and the date of birth with the new values okay so this is using the update if you want to change value in a given row so we can also create or duplicate a table so right create table call it new students as okay so select 
all from students okay now if we execute that and refresh our databases so we have new students table okay and if we select all from new students select all from new students we get exactly the same values okay new students we get the same table all right and if we copy and paste that okay so we have the same values okay now if we want to drop and delete completely a table we use the drop command okay drop table new students and if we execute that the new students will be dropped so it will be completely deleted right now if we want to only delete the data within a table and leave the table as it is with the columns and the data types the constraint etc we can use what we call truncate okay so now we are going to recreate the new table so create table new students as select all from students and if we refresh that so we have new students table now if we want to delete only the data inside the new ta new students table without deleting the table completely we can use the truncate command so we write truncate table and we select the name of the table so new students okay and if we execute that so we select all from new students you will see only the names of the columns but we don't have all the data so the difference between truncate and drop is that drop will come will delete completely the table and the data in it but the truncate will only delete data inside the table but it will not delete the table completely so we have the names of the columns and the data types are left okay so now for example there is another command that we can use when working with tables which is called view so a view is a command that we use in order to select some columns and to create a sort of a new table that we can call and display only the selected columns and to give you an example we are going to use the database so circular database that is given so use circular right we execute that and for example we select all from actor table right to see what do we have so we have actor id first name last name and last update for example if we want to create view so we call create view so we give it a name for example let's say davis right so we will select or we create another table with all the names that have a last name davis as so we select the columns so we select first name and last update okay so from the actor table where as we have said last name will equal to davis right semicolon so we create our view and if we go to here so we have our views we refresh so we get davis view okay and if we select all from davis right we get our view right so here we have created a view which is called davis and it will select for us first name last name which will be displayed as new table where the last name is davis okay to drop a view we use the same syntax write drop view and we write the name of the view so davis if we execute that so we see that davis view does not exist anymore okay so that's it for the second part of the sql 
course for beginners. Thanks for watching and see you in the third part.